Ooh, all right. Now we can start the show. Oh my god, guys, I just went through a tiny bit of a tiny bit of a personal ordeal. Woo! All right, let's get this off screen. Bam. There we go. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Y'all ready for some cat lady? Preceded by a small little story time with Jeff segment. Damn it, iTunes closed. There we go. All right. Uh, how's it going, guys? Hey, there's a Karen. All right, so... Uh, a couple minutes before the pre-show was supposed to start, I got a call saying... Uh, there's a bit of a windstorm going out outside. So I got a call saying, A, I need to move the car, which... You know, duh. There's a bunch of tree branches above it, and they're always paranoid that, you know, it's going to fall and, you know, destroy it. Um, but also that I had to help uh, dig out a septic tank. Uh, little little fact about me, and I think most people, I can't deal with shit. I can't deal with it. Uh, I can't look at it. I can't smell it. It's horrible. I immediately vom. So we dig out the septic tank, which was a, a, a bit of a pain in the ass. There's a lot of uh, tightly packed dirt, a lot of uh, roots and whatnot, a lot of metal bars. Um, so we dig it out, and I'm fr kind of frantically digging because, like, God damn it, I got to get the show on the road. It's just I'm, so I dig it out, or we dig it out, and you know, you see, like, there's a bit of the uh, a bit of the cement surrounding the tank got like chipped off. So, and, you know, just like, oh, you know, I tell my grandpa, like, oh, hey, you know, this thing's chipped off. I don't know if you noticed that. I don't know if I hit it or whatever. And he said, oh, no big deal. Just, you know, pick it up and put it off to the side. So I do that. I grab the chunk of cement. And it is covered in what I assumed was mud. Not mud. I threw it off to the side. I vomed a little and ran inside and washed my hands like never before. It was horrible for me. Like, for most people, it would be like, an, oh, that's kind of gross. All right, I'll wash my hands. For me, it was like, <clears throat> like, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. It was the fastest I've ran in a long time <laughs> to get inside. It was horrible. And, you know, I came, I came back and apparently that chunk, once that chunk was off, you know, the, the tank is airing itself out a little bit. And I could smell everything, and I just couldn't handle it. But we got it undug in the middle of a windstorm, and God, that was awful. That was just awful. I, ugh, I can't handle shit, dude. It's the worst. It's the worst. Oh, man. I hope everyone else is having a better day. <laughs> just a little bit. Or at least I hope my suffering made yours just a little bit better. Oh, God. That was, like, the worst. That was the worst. Cute. Dude, that shit was horrible. That was the worst smell I have ever had to deal with. I can't handle shit, dude. Just can't do it. Cannot do it. Ugh. Oh, God. Anyway, so enough of the poop story. Um... All right, since it's a Saturday stream, I'm going to go ahead and give a special thanks to my $5 plus reward patrons, Tom from Mad Morpheus Gaming and Ozman12. Thank you guys for your patronage and supporting what I do. If you want to support the channel through Patreon, it is patreon.com slash channel jail. Uh, if you want to get your name on here, just donate $5 or more and select the $5 plus perk. Uh, another good way to support the channel is through Streamlabs donations during shows. There's the link on your screen right there. It is also under the social media panel down below the stream window. Um, you can also donate off of stream through Streamlabs, but if you donate during a stream, you get these neat little pop-ups, and there are different ones for different amounts, which is pretty damn neat. Recently added a $50 one with, uh, with that clip from Munch's Odyssey, the good ending, where the entire auction house is going, Moolah! Just, like, worshipping cash. Like, the little stereotypes they are. Uh, and there's also the Channel Jail Redbubble merch store. The link's on the bottom right of your screen right now, and you can get these adorable designs by Karen on shirts, hoodies, mugs, phone cases, throw pillows, and more. It's neat shit. Good quality shit. I have one of the banners uh, right behind me during streams. Uh, let's see. And today's meme of the stream is brought to us by Liam from the Discord. And it is this glorious Photoshop 
of fucking Fisher from Spyro 2 on Thomas the Tank Engine. Trouble with the fucking trolley. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Ooh, that's the casual stream. Ooh, that's the wrong thing. Give me a second here. Bam, there we go. Uh, let's see. Why do you still have septics anyway? Uh, the house I live in was built in the 30s or 40s. So, yeah. <laughs> There's that. That is why we still use a septic thing. I'm watching you. Yo, thanks for the host, Liam. Appreciate it. Always watching. Always watching. All right, so where is the cat? Oh, I forgot. I got to keep everything off to the side for this one. Forgot I can't play a cat lady in windowed mode. That's a bit of a pain. Uh, move this. I was a little interrupted by, you know, digging up a septic tank. So give me a sec here. Oh. That's an alarm. Thank you. Okay, so let's get this road on the show. Damn you, Steam! Oh, man. Connecting to Steam accounts. Ah, just give it a second. So how's everyone else's day been? You guys been doing all right? Uh, Karen says we ate poutine. I mean, it's not a bad day. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot my- whoops. Meant to hit shift tab, not alt tab. Whoopsie! Oh, and my grandma, uh, <laughs> she actually- she actually cracked a bit of a joke, uh, after she learned that I totally vommed. Um, <laughs> she said, like, right before I came back inside, she said, Hey, this might not be the best time to tell you this, but, uh, you know, we have some- I cooked up some goulash. Oh, man. You should start Steam before you stream? Uh, well, here's the thing about that. I had to go dig up a septic tank last second. So I didn't, uh... Yeah, I had to hurry up and do that, unfortunately. Alright, so... Oh, there it is. It is this one, Jeff. Okay, so last we left off, we went in this room... And we saw nightmarish visions from hell, and I guess we're just not gonna, I guess we're just not gonna address that stuff, so let's, let's go ahead. Is my thing off? A little bit. Eh, that's fine. Okay, um, how do we check the map again? Ah, there we go. Alright, so what do we have checked? Okay, uh, alright, there's our flat, let's see, flats 1, 2, 3, and 5 are checked, uh, or crossed out, rather, we've got Brian and 6, Lady with Baby at 8, and Nerd at 7. Alright, so I guess we gotta go back up there, go up to the top, take it to the top, but yay, no game, oh no. Damn me, sec. I didn't... Damn it. I gotta, like... I'm sorry, guys. I got really thrown off earlier. That is my bad. Ooh. That's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. Go capture. Game capture. Hang on. Technical issues. Very nice, OBS. Come on, let it work. Okay, now I gotta make a separate game capture. Goddamn. OBS, it's usually very good, but man, when it screws up, it screws up hard. Pacific window, cat lady. Right, and. Okay, there we go. Now, I can reshape it. Perfect. By the way, David, when we're, uh, w when you're doing the VODs, maybe cut this bit out. <laughs> <laughs> Boop. 
good. A little bit higher. Yeah, it looks good. All right, sweet. Okay. So we got most of the flats checked out. It's recording it okay? It's fine? All right, good. Thanks for the heads up. All right, so we got all this. Okay, so this is where Pauline lives. She's a young mother and until recently a busy hotelier. Listen. Okay, so with these guys... Okay, there's like a fuse box I can mess with. Yeah, it's the electric meter. All right, so I gotta I gotta screw up the cord, which I need scissors, I imagine. Examine. See, the cables are hanging loose. I don't think that's very safe. Okay, pull. If I let's see, if I could pull them out, I'd cut the electrical for both flats. Unfortunately, they are too firmly attached to the meter. Can I just... Well, let me let me examine it first. That's an electric for both flats. Okay. Um, can I just use the screwdriver? Nothing to unscrew. Uh... Hmm. Oh, wait. No, no, no. There was another thing we were supposed to do. It was... Uh... <sighs> we're supposed to cover the black... Cut up the black dress... Covered it, cover it in fake blood and scare that one dude. That was another goal of ours, so maybe we should go for that one. So if we go to the ground floor, into the basement, we can examine uh, more of the items. Let's see, I will. Thanks, David. Let's see. I came here for the free jerf. Uh, but can you finish to completion, Jeff? Wait, what? Oh, uh, completionist reference? If so, I haven't actually watched them. I think he did a couple uh, guest spots on guest crumbs, though, didn't he? All right, pipes. Examine. Water supply for the whole building can be switched off here. There's no need to do that now, though. Okay, we used the coal chute. Pen of paint. Examine. Red, the color of blood. Okay, can I use... Uh, open. The lid is stuck. Okay, so, yeah, we haven't opened this yet, so let's use the screwdriver. That makes sense. I can easily open it with a screwdriver. Fucking do so. Uh, let's see. Tin. Uh, no, no, no. I think we gotta use... No. Okay, take... Okay, so I gotta hang the dress back up and then use the can of paint on it. Don't really have a combined function. Uh, hang back. And then... Examine. Not a great color for your bedroom walls, but it would be perfect for writing threatening messages on walls instead. Oh! It worked for Joe Davis anyway, unless, of course, those three sixes on his bedroom door were written in real blood. Uh, okay, so we don't use it with the dress. Alright. Strange, this wall still looks fresh. I don't think we can Hulk smash our way through that wall, so we'll need to find another way. Wait, hang on, is there more to the right? No, okay. It's irrelevant to I'm gonna pre. Oh, okay, okay. And it was on Grumpkate. Okay, cool. Okay. Alright, so we need what? We need scissors to cut up the dress. Where would we get scissors? This one was abandoned, right? Should be a little something. All right up there's the creepy guy. Damn it, it's rotten through. 
window. Look at no. Hmm. Socket. Just an ordinary electrical socket. So we gotta use that socket for something. And I have this extension cord, but I don't know what else I would do with it. Nope. Hmm. Out of curiosity. Let's see. It looks old, but it seems okay, and it's really long, too. I'm sure I'll find some use for it. Alrighty. Guess I'm just not really sure where this stuff is supposed to be. Your case. Okay, so this is the ladies' room. We checked that one. Four and three. See, man, someone couldn't hold that fart in. David says sorry. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so we can't check this room. I assume we already did that one, right? One across from us? Yeah. So while these are done, I'm just... just need to poke around for tools. Does... Can we go in there? No. We can disappear, though. That's still entertaining. All right, five and six. Need something to cut up the dress and to cut that line. This guy was cleared. Door. Listen. I can hear someone walking inside. Brian's definitely in. In seven again. I feel like I'm missing something. Bram, examine. Just looking at it is painful. That's sad. Um, knock? Apparently we're not going there without a good reason. I'm sure we'll find it sooner or later. Oh, that's right. Okay, so we need, we need that power outage. Cable, electric meter. Listen. I don't think this guy's having fun. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pre. Gonna fucking pre. God, that was like one of their best bits. They do such a good Obama impression, man. Uh, not gonna lie, I'm tempted to look at a walkthrough. I'm very tempted. Partly because... Partly because, like, we kind of left off in the middle of this last time. So I'm sure there are details that I'm just completely forgetting. Oh, wait. Hang on. Can Mitzi cut this with her thingies? Final lock first. Okay. So, what next? Maybe we can find some clues in the mail? There's a mailbox in the hall. Oh, we can use her as a little hint. Little hint thing. Okay, cool. Let's see someone playing video games in that flat? Uh yes, actually. And we need to we need to flush them out with a little power outage. Open. No mail for Susan Ashworth. Surprise, surprise. All other compartments are locked. Examine. It's a communal mailbox. It holds all the tenants' mail in separately locked compartments. Wait, can we... Do you think you can unlock ah, this mailbox? Ah, okay. I think I can most certainly unlock this mailbox. Then do it quickly. Someone can come in any minute. Some people in less than a minute. <laughs> a little room for the master locksmith. Really? Could you step away towards the stairs and turn around? Please? Oh, fine. She's embarrassed because she doesn't have animations for lockpicking. So... Oh, I just need to go another to foot to the right. Alright. If anything. Hmm. 
Done. Here's all the mail. Hide it in your pockets and let's get out of here. It was mostly That was a hard pee if I ever heard one. I threw those away. Okay. So what be in the wait. Letter to Pauline, letter to Joe. Uh examine. Let's see, it's addressed to Pauline Summers. She's the young mother who lives in flat eight. Not here, she'll be back in any minute, we'll be caught. Okay. So let's go back down here. Seems like a good place to read people's mail. If you're gonna commit a federal offense, do it in a basement. All right. Read. Well, well. Looks like Pauline is looking for a babysitter. Ah. This letter says she's supposed to interview an agency nanny later today. How Great. convenient. I could be a nanny. It's certainly Ghost worth a nanny. try. But I should warn you. I don't want to have anything to do with that baby. You're gonna have to handle this on your own. Sure, I understand. Leave it to me, Mrs. A. The Metal Adventures of Goth Nanny. I'd watch the fuck out of that, actually. <laughs> All right. This is just a Joe Davis. He is opposite me in flat three. Oh, is that the scary one that we're just ignoring? Uh, it's from Dr. Frank Zellman. It appears he's Joe Shrink. <laughs> that guy's got his work. <laughs> oh, he's got his work cut out for him, man. Apparently, Joe failed to attend his weekly sessions recently. Uh, no shit. Well, well, it looks like Joe's just as messed up as I am. Or worse, who knows? I should be the last to make judgments, really. Um... Wait. Okay, so we did that. Alright. Not sure what else we're gonna do with that letter, but... Okay, so now we go to the ladies' flat... And hopefully, we'll find something to cut these wires with. And probably just mark her off the list. I don't imagine single mother is going to be the leader of a suicide cult. Can you walk away? We ran out of budget. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, but again, this game is amazing for like a, the apparent small budget that they had. Knock, knock, motherfucker. Right. Step back. I'll handle this. I'll handle this. Oh. Hello? Hi. I've heard you're looking for a babysitter. Is that correct? Okay, with the way she's swaying, I'm yes, just expecting her to correct. drop the kid. No further. My just, name is Mitzi Hunt. I'm currently a student, but I'm great with children. And I could really use a job. These school tuitions get pretty expensive these days. I... Okay, maybe. But why is Mrs. Ashworth here? Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. Uh, hi, Pauline. Um. You were just helping her find the apartment. I'm great, thanks. You were just I helping her find the for apartment. Ages. Are you here to apply for a job as well? <laughs> no, of course not. I. Come on, easy life. Uh, oh, Susan's. Oh, Susan's my auntie. She told me about the job. I'm Mrs. Ashworth's lodger. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, that, that's not even a lie. Oh, I'm Mrs. Ashworth's lodger. She kindly offered me a room and we've been living together for the last couple of weeks. I mentioned to her I was looking for a job. My parents pay for the room and school fees, but I could do with some extra spending money. So, anyway... I'm starting this course on child psychology next semester, and I thought it would be useful to get some hands-on experience with little children. My mother always says you have to get your hands dirty to learn something properly. Not that you get dirty hands looking after babies. Oh, yes you do. M metaphorically speaking. No, 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 literally too, dude. Well, it can get dirty. I hope you understand the job would involve changing that piece too. Yes, of course. I don't have a problem with that. Yes, well... You sure sound enthusiastic. You don't. Would you like to come in? Both of you? It's okay. I'll wait. I could really do with your support. You know how shy I get sometimes. Yes. Well, you're... Mm. 
Okay. Poor Susan. You owe me. We need to work together on this. Nah, I kind of agree. You do owe her a little bit. Fine. This is kind of a fuck Just situation for her. Do it. It's too late for that, Mrs. A. What a nice Ooh. flat. I love Ooh. the wallpaper. Very retro. Um, thanks. I decorated it myself just before Alyssa was born. Please follow me. We can talk in the living room. Are you drunk? I think this lady's drunk. I'll need you to drag her away. How the hell am I supposed to do that? I don't know. I'm sure you can think of something. Throw her baby out the window. Why do you think That'll get her out. Something? I told you I don't do babies. I it's feel illegal. so uncomfortable here. I gladly blend with this cheesy wallpaper that you like so much and disappear. I know. So do I. Yo, lady, can you turn you down the guitar a bit? Babies? No. But I'm trying to fake it, and so far she's buying it. Look, I'm just here in the background. Cool I'm sorry, what's that? Make her leave the room. Got it? <laughs> that's where the problem is. I can't think of anything. Just play it by ear, yeah? See pictures. Uh, usually very good conversation starters. Look at pictures. Uh, they're mostly photos of a baby. These are a couple of Pauline and her ex. His face missing on each of them. Well, either a lover's quarrel or a possible serial killer. One of the two. If she wants to cut this guy out of her life so badly, why won't she just take these pictures down? Well, the baby's in them too. I should let you know from the start that looking after a toddler is not an easy task. Ooh. They're just beginning to crawl, they're very curious, and sometimes they can cry for no apparent reason. And my Alyssa, well, she has a very noisy child. Do you have any previous experience with children? Well, I've watched a lot of children with the corn. That's about it. Uh, let's see. Arthur says, my Twitch went to shit. Oh, I'm sorry, man, that blows. Let's see, whenever I see the word shrink... Oh, okay. Whenever I see the word shrink or hear it, I instantly think of the odd world shrinks. Oh, God. Can you imagine those things giving you therapy? Jesus Christ. Yeah, give me a second. I need to shrink this down just so I can keep an eye on the... and the view count there. Stop, bro, and back into the game. Let's see, she won't take down... She won't take them down so that she can eventually stick cruelly cut pics of the next person over the pics on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Equally creepy. Uh, let's see. I uh, I haven't had so much awesome presidential sex. I uh, don't think I can live without it. Obama, twenty seventeen. I can't do Obama. Let's see. Yes, I used to babysit my neighbor's kids. Not really, but I'm a fast learner. And mm hmm. Go with this. Yes, I used to babysit my neighbor's kids. Excellent. I know we all Excellent. have to start somewhere, but it helps if you at least know the basics. I'd like to get back to work soon, you see. Just part time for now. That's why I need someone to stay with her. I'm not going to find it easy to be apart from Alyssa, but my career has always been important to me as well. They won't wait for me forever. If I don't do this now, they'll just replace me. I like how, like, all of her sentences are between almost dropping her baby. Just, like, <laughs> just talking, like, so I went to the store yesterday, ah, and, uh, you know, I, ha I had to get some milk, and, uh, ah. <laughs> just. <laughs> We're going to be playing hot potato with this kid later. I can feel it. Let's see. Where do you work? There just isn't enough support for working parents. Ooh, that's a good conversation starter. Uh, where's Alyssa's dad? Do you mind me asking? Ooh. That would certainly distract her. And the pictures were kind of a clue. But is a clue to use that information or to not use it? Hmm. Well, let's give it a shot anyway. Where's Alyssa's dad? Do you mind me asking? I... I'd rather not talk about it. It's personal. As far as I'm concerned, Alyssa hasn't got a father. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. No, it's all Ah, right. yes, a midichlorian I just don't baby. Like talking about it. I'm sure you'll understand. There was no father. 
All right, so where do you work? Where do you work? I'm a hotel manager. It's a very competitive industry, but I've always loved it. I miss it a lot. Hmm. This is enough support for working parents. There just isn't enough support for working parents. Tell me about it. If I don't get back to work in two weeks' time, they will cut my maternity pay in half. Damn. So I haven't really got a choice. It's either this or Alyssa and me will face the life in poverty. A little rough. A little rough. The baby does look like a big potato. Doesn't it? Let's play a game. Punt the baby. <laughs> don't kick the baby. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite South Park bits. Let's see. I remember seeing this game a long time ago, but the person who was playing it was nonstop, like, dying and shit. I don't know. I didn't know he was awful at this game. You can die. Well, no, no, no. Yeah, you can die in this game. Um. Well, die, kind of. You can really only die if you're going after one of the parasites, really. Any anywhere else, you're pretty much good. Um, but yeah, nonstop dying in this game. The solutions aren't that hard. At least the majority of them. Usually, the uh, the harder solutions in this game don't get you killed. It's just like pain in the ass puzzles with uh, without too many clues, and you really have to you really have to trial and error everything. Uh, let's see. I have a great connection with kids. I'm sure I can manage with Alyssa. On my part, that is a damn lie. I have a great connection with kids. I'm sure I can manage with Alyssa. Okay, I don't doubt that. How about, would you like to hold Alyssa for a minute? We should probably see if she likes you first. I, yes, definitely. But, a potato. I ought to wash my hands first. Your hands? My hands. I must have touched a million things on my way here. As much as I want to hold her, I just don't think it's safe, you know? Really? What have you been touching? Oh, you know, just ordinary things, this and that. You look mm -hmm. pretty clean. I'm sure it'll be okay. Well, if you must know, I... Oh. I'm watching you, Oh, Nasty. hang on. Always watching. Uh, why didn't the visual go off? Oh, I know why. Okay, hang on. First off, thank you, Tom, for the host, and I know exactly why it didn't go off. It did go off. This is just on the top layer. There we go. Okay, yeah, sorry about that, Tom, but thank you for the host. I'm watching you, Wazowski. Uh, let's see. Punt the Child Pillow's favorite game. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Announcer. Here comes Jeff with the baby kick. Jeff kicks the baby and hits the goal. It's good! Go! Woo! <laughs> Would you punt a child for money? How much money are we talking? Uh, let's see. So what... Let's see, I stroked a filthy-looking dog. Not a euphemism, I'm sure. I volunteered at the hospital earlier today. Ooh, that's a good one, actually. I hugged a homeless man outside this house. Uh, no. Um, I might have forgot to wash my hands after using the toilet. Uh, no. Is that bad cold? Well, then she's going to want us out in general. So I'm going to say you volunteered at the hospital I today. volunteered at the hospital earlier today. Oh, I'm impressed. You don't see many young people doing that these days. But you're right. As nice as that is of you, there's all sorts of bugs you can pick up in a hospital. It won't hurt to be extra careful. I'll show you to the bathroom. Would you mind answering the door for me? Sure. No problem. It's probably just my friend Kate. Just let her in, please. Is that okay? Great, now we're gonna distract way. two people. Follow me. Your turn, Mrs. A. Seriously. Holy shit, that is a Do nice TV. Anything. How big is that screen? Make sure you scrub those dirty hands really well. I need a bit of time. Like, that's almost two arms length. Look at that. That's a big TV. Hell yeah, it is. I want it. Jeff, steal the TV. I, f I fucking might. Is that an option? I kind of want it. 
Examine. Nothing useful here. Just books, 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 and a few toys. Okay. Inside. Uh, her kitchen's sparkling clean. Okay. Pictures. Uh, most of these photos show Pauline and her kid. There's also some with a guy and a few of them, but the face seems to be cut out. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Oh, this must be the actual nanny. Are you Kate? I've been sent by the agency. My name is Rita Tickle. <laughs> May I come in, please? Agency? <laughs> what agency? I don't the trust anyone named Rita Tickle, Tickle near my kids. We bring fun and professionalism into child minding at a discount price. May I come in, please? Please. Wait, just hang on a second. I believe we have an appointment. It was confirmed by post. Didn't you get a letter? Why does she sound like Forrest Gump? She totally does. <laughs> I just kind of want to like face back into the apartment and just scream to the lady, Troll! Troll in the dungeon! <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't be this mean, especially with how I look, but God, I wasn't expecting it. Oh my God. She totally does sound like Forrest Gump though. See, I joined in at the right time. Yeah, man, TV stealing and trolling the dungeon. <laughs> okay. Focus on the dialogue. All right. 